Hey everybody, my name is Tom. Welcome to this video. We do a looping guide for Call of the Dead here, and I hope you enjoy it. Please stay on it, it's pretty interesting, and have fun. So let's go right into it, and the first area I want to check out is the area right here in front of the lighthouse. I'm pretty sure you know that area already because it's mentioned in most uh, strategy guides and stuff, okay. Well, let's have a look. Where where are the spawn points here? Well, it doesn't make any sense to point them all out because they are just pretty much everywhere. The zombies spawn here pretty much on every corner. They come in from pretty much every side, so we don't have to point them out. But the cool thing is we, we have no gaps here. It's pretty wide and open. And I just want to point out uh, a corner, and this would be that corner right here. That can be a little bit ugly if we back up here and shoot, 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 shoot here, and then we land in that corner later or earlier. So just keep that in mind and uh, do not back up too far. And of course we have some corners like here, but they are pretty obvious, pretty easy to see. They are not as tricky as the other one is. Alright, so uh, this stand leads in a leads out in a path that we go it can be a huge circle here like this you know walking a huge circle but since the zombies spawn pretty much from everywhere uh, it often ends up with uh, like an uh, eight figure or a little bit of slalom and some s curves and all that stuff you know so uh yeah don't 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 worry too much about the path just just try not to get uh fucked up by the zombies you know yeah, I thought that this wouldn't working out. So, uh, let's see uh, how this area turns out here. Alright, that's better. Come on. There we go. Alright, and then uh, once the zombies have spawned, uh, you want to start uh, walking a huge, huge uh, circle here. Uh, wait here until most of the zombies are close to you and then just sprint to the other side and then you have a long time to shoot the zombies. That's pretty cool here. But anyway, it it's, it's not one of my favorite areas here because I, I think it, that crazy zombie spawning is, is kind of really crazy, you know. And um, yeah, it killed me several times already, so I actually prefer to be in an on or in another area that I will show a little bit later. <coughs> so uh, you see, actually, right now I can pretty much stay with my huge circle here. I don't have to go for some eight figures and all that stuff. So I just try to to plan my way. Try to look where the zombies are coming from, and then this ends up pretty well here. And we see the zombies have already finished spawning, more or less. I'm always careful, because uh, as soon as you think the zombies have finished spawning, there is one more coming. So anyway, I just want to uh, mention that actually this era can also be used by two players at the same time. Like one just going for a little circle up here, you know, like this, and the other guy is just uh, down here, of course, and doing a little circle down here. And this comes in actually really handy, this double edge, if you want to use the scavenger. Because if you are just uh, waiting up here, George will, will uh, come closer and closer, and then you can lead the zombie train down far away from George and do a scavenger shot without making George mad and this is what I just try out right now so let's do it I just go to the water here and can kill the whole train without hurting George and that's yeah pretty cool so let's have now a look uh, to another spawning period how is it turning out this time Yeah, so long, no danger. And yeah, this is pretty interesting here, actually. If it's foggy, you can't even see the end of this of the area here. So there we saw a little bit the uh, impro improvisement of the path, and here as well. And I just thought charge would hit me, which then would have stunned me, and this would have killed me. So this this is exactly why I dislike this area, to be honest. 
And anyway, I think we have done it more or less. So this time I wanna just use the HK. And what I try to do is lead the zombie train far away down here and then sprint, sprint to the end of the map. And now I have tons of time to shoot. Then again, lead them pretty much to the end of the room here or the, the, the area here. And then I have tons of time to shoot. And yeah, this works. This works pretty well once the train has spawned. I'm just not convinced about this uh, safety while the, spa while the spawning period. So, uh, or safety for the spawning period. I'm not sure. Anyway, who cares? Well, that's pretty much it. And I said I want to keep this one here short. So, I think we have seen the basic stuff about the area. And uh, let's continue to the next area. See ya. Bye. Well, hey again, now we want to check out this area right here, this is behind the, the slide, you know, you see Speed Cola down there. And this area is actually pretty cool in multiplayer because uh, you can have an easy time here. And also in solo it's not a difficult area to handle. Well, if you have a look at it, we have uh, pretty much no corners here, uh, we have uh, no gaps. Unless you don't want to consider the whole uh, um, the whole paths here as huge gaps, you know, like uh, this one right here or so. Oops, hello. But basically, there are no gaps, and um, yeah, the, the spawn ponds. I think they are uh, pretty much in the water here somewhere. As P Cola. We will see zombies come out there, like here, here, somewhere. I don't know exactly. Here is one for sure. And zombies will also climb up here. And um, yeah, we just walk uh, clockwise here. I definitely prefer clockwise because it just feels safer. I've met better experiences while going clockwise here. And um, as usual, we are walking around the structure. Here it's that rock. And that means that the zombies will rather stay to the inner side of that rock because the zombies are well, are willing to to come straight forward to us. So uh, they will actually always be on the inner side of that rock, ex except those are the, those that are just spawning and those that are just very close behind us. It means that we can do just dodge the zombies to the outer side here, and that is what makes this area pretty safe. And note also that we have here a huge water uh, water area which we can actually use and here it's wide and open so as an e emergency plan or so think that uh, you can go into the water. Alright so uh, let's have a look at it. Yeah, fuck it. Hey I didn't hit charge, that's kinda crazy. Well, George is pretty annoying here because the shooting bursts that you can do here are not that long anyway. And if George is uh, somewhere down here where you can shoot pretty well, uh, it's pretty annoying. But anyway, I'm basically showing this area uh, because of the aspect of the multiplayer mode because in the multiplayer you won't face more than like five zombies here at a time and this is what what makes this area pretty easy here and uh, if you just wanna have an easy time wanna have a break for a round or so j just come down here in multiplayer and I will show that in the next clip a very short multiplayer cut of this area here but even here in Zolo, you see, it's actually not a big deal. It's it's pretty easy, pretty safe. You don't get that many hits and stuff. Just try to plan your way, try to decide quickly if you dodge to the inner or the outer side. And then this actually works out pretty well. Well, and the water is, is, is quite close here, as we can see. So it's actually no problem if you hit charge or so. Or if you wanna use the scavenger, with that we will hit him pretty often, so yeah, it's a pretty cool area. Try it out. And I just pointed it out that the shooting bursts are pretty short and uh, you just see it's 
kind of annoying to go with the uh, LMG here. I can kill. I can kill more than like five zombies during one burst. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, maybe I can kill more than five. Right now it works pretty well, but isn't always like that. So let's just have a quick look how this turns out with the scavenger here. I just wait till they have spawned, or at least till most of them have spawned. Then we can do a scavenger shot, see what happens. Charge will get mad. But as mentioned, that's no big deal here. Alright, just wait in the water now. And there he is already cooled down, and we can start all over again. So, yeah, that's it for this area, and see ya in the multiplayer cut. <laughs> hey again, we are here in the multiplayer scene, and uh, we just killed George again. And unfortunately, I died, so I just have five instead of six perks. But what I wanna basically show you is uh, how many zombies spawn here. And uh, we see pretty much none. One there. One here. One here, so three till now. And uh, that's pretty, uh, let's see, uh, I don't wanna say ridiculous, but uh, it's ridiculous. I, try to collect I mean, you really get an easy time here, actually. Yeah? So I can actually knife them pretty easy pretty calm down here. There are two new ones, so let's knife them as well. Yeah, nice aiming there, but I don't care. Come on, take this. Alright then, now I can take a little break and wait a little bit. <laughs> and you know, okay, that's more or less how this works here, and uh, I think uh, that's already it for this card. I just wanted to show how easy it is down here in a four-player game. Especially oh, if uh, say, yeah. some players are down here. Right now, then and just that light, like it, you like might it. have noticed that uh, since we kill charge, someone has the wonder wonder buffet. All right, yeah. So uh, see you in the next clip. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Hey again. Now we want to check out the spawn area, the area where you start the game, which would be right here at Quick Revive and stuff. So here we can run a pretty huge loop which would be uh, like this from over there to quick arrive through the water and through the water again over here and stuff okay and you see this is pretty wide and open right here in the water we have tons of space this, this is no big deal the only tight spot we have is, is this bridge here but we still can dodge one zombie easily here and it's actually no big deal to survive here. I don't know, it, I think it doesn't play any role if you go clock or counterclockwise here. So uh, just don't uh, don't worry about it. And uh, I just want to point out this, uh, gap, uh, this corner here. This is pretty lethal if you land in it, in it and it's pretty likely to happen if you back up here and shoot the zombies. If you back up too far, you will just land in that corner here. See, I'm in. And uh, just keep it in mind and then uh, stop backing up as soon as you left uh, the bridge here. Then you are safe. Well, and here as well, it's easy to dodge one or two zombies. That's no big deal. So, um, yeah, this makes it actually to a pretty safe area. The only problem that we have here at uh, Quick Revive is that we usually face a whole line of zombies right there and a whole line right there. So uh, just uh, pay attention and uh, plan your way carefully. And yeah, so let's have a look. Well, I don't know, I actually prefer this area for the area in front of the lighthouse. I don't know why. I think it's just... I don't know why. I just do. Well, yeah, George. George is no big deal here. I mean, uh, he will basically stay in the water, so... Uh, if you shoot him, you get stunned, your whole team will get stunned, so uh, try not to shoot him, but um, if it happens, uh, it's not that that big deal, especially if you hit him with a scavenger shot, 
the sc stunning afterwards is uh, yeah, it's it's not bad because uh, all zombies are dead anyway, you know. All right, and you saw I had to dodge three zombies on the bridge, but it was actually no big deal. So uh, it's really pretty safe here. It's pretty safe out here. And yeah, I can mention, uh, note that you walk very slow in the water, actually slower than the zombies, I guess, and that's pretty annoying, so yeah, you want to keep a little bit of a distance from the zombies here in the water. And it's pretty good to gather up the zombie train, like, if I go now, the... The the, the 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 first ones of the train will be pretty much the last ones and so and now we see they build up pretty much a whole line which is actually perfect to shoot them so here it's flat and level so perfect to go for some headshots and this could look like that alright there we go yeah that's pretty cool and I'm pretty sure you know what happens when you kill zombies in the water. Well, uh, they become an ice block, and if you shoot that ice block, it does a little ice explosion, which kills quite a lot of zombies, and you don't get points for, for that kills you do by that ice block thing, but it, you can actually kill tons of zombies very fast, and it's, it's good to save ammo, you know. So let's have a look here. You see, actually, the train is more or less gone. Just uh, one, two, three zombies left here, and that is that is why uh, why I actually like this area. If I'm low on ammo, I can still kill tons of zombies here, and hope that I will get a maximum. Although I think every zombie that you kill by that ice block thing won't drop any power up, so maybe it's not that good to do it, but. Um, yeah, just mention it because uh, it's actually nice to know. All right, and uh, let's have just a quick look how this goes with the scavenger. I mean, it won't be that surprising here. The train will be just that. George will get mad, but doesn't care. See the stunning, but no zombies, so no danger. And then you just wait for the next train. And I think the the the. The zombie train is really nice gathered up in the water. And that's why I actually say it's it's my favorite area with the scavenger here. But no, if you uh, make charge mad, the whole team gets stunned. And this is so annoying, especially while looping. I mean, if you keep the train close and then you get that stunning. And <laughs> then the zombies have a lot of time to hit you. And they will hit you. And then you just die. And that is pretty shit. So, yeah, let's go to the next area. Hey, everybody. And, uh, we are just here at the spawn again, and this time in a four-player game. And I basically just want to show how this here turns out in a, in a multiplayer game. And as usual, we just see that it's way easier. And um, I just want to give this l little impressions here uh, uh, this take will, won't be longer than two minutes I guess and um, yeah that's pretty much it here um, it feels like like in solo but just ten times easier so it actually means that everything I show you on multiplayer can be uh, <laughs> sorry everything I show you on solo can be done on multiplayer as well and uh, it's just way easier and uh, as you can see, I just walk clockwise right now. And uh, as I said, it's it's kind of a r the direction is not that important here. It's just it, it comes how it comes, you know. And uh, yeah, that's actually already pretty much it. This is how it's done in multiplayer. And uh, I just shoot the zombies here now in the water. And I know I don't get freaking points for that, but uh, um. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, did I pick this up? Yeah, I did. Anyway, yeah, that's how it's done. Uh, how it's done, and um, yeah, enjoy this area. It's a, it's a cool place to be. And um, see you in the next clip. Bye.